YouTube or wherever you might be watching this. Um, so I decided to update you when I looked somewhat attractive rather than when I'm coming back from PT. So um, that's why I'm wearing just a couple more ruffles than I usually wear. Um, so today I would like to give you a little look at the start guide. Um, if you are in the military or, or in the Navy or if you're already in depth then you obviously know what this looks like. Hopefully um, your recruiters have given you this. Um, you don't get this until you've actually enlisted and stuff like that. So which drove me crazy because I wanted to know before I enlisted everything. Because like before I make a decision, I'll Google, you know, like how to enlist or what happens when you go through medical or whatever. So that's why I decided to make these videos is because uh, people pretty much say the same thing in every single video. And sometimes they don't give you like all of the information. So that's, that's why like my videos are long and kind of rambling. <laughs> It's because I hope I'm giving you every detail I possibly can. So, today I'm going to give you a little inside look on your START Guide, which stands for Standards, Transition, Acknowledgement, Requirements, and Training. So, inside here we have um, it's just a little welcome, and then this talks about graduation, and this is a little letter to your parents or spouse about um, debt meetings. And then um, it talks about your core values, which are honor, courage, and commitment, and it tells you like where in the um, that is in the when you swear in. It tells you what parts of that apply to the Navy. And then um, these are your um, your eleven general orders of a century which if you have great memorizational skills you will nail it and if you aren't good at memorizing then I suggest you hold on let's do this <laughs> okay sorry Whew. okay um if you're not good at memorizing you really need to start this as soon as possible because it is difficult sometimes it's a little difficult to understand like I had trouble with a couple of them because I had no idea what it meant and the ones I didn't understand were harder to memorize um, so start memorizing these things. Luckily, I used to do beauty pageants, so I have a great memory because I had to memorize a lot of shit. Um, then we have the Sailor's Creed, your responsibilities to your recruiter, and the RTC Maximum, followed by a lovely picture of these men and women at boot camp. I think they're at boot camp. I think so. No? Yeah, I, I really don't know. Whatever great pictures and then we have your chain of command which of course starts at the president of the United States Mr. Barack Obama and it stops with your recruit division commander this is changing like all the time like I had memorized the names you have to memorize like the titles and the names and um, you have to know like the acronyms because they'll say like I remember I heard Mick Pond and I was like what the hell is a Mick Pond and I, I felt so stupid because I thought maybe it was some kind of like secret thing like I never heard about it and, and I then I realized it stood for uh, Master Chief Petty Officer of Navy MCPON and I was like oh yeah anyways um because today was I think it was the NCO or not the NCO the CNO's a new guy's first day I think and so um so one of this, these guys there's a new one so it changes like in the blink of an eye and then there's a whole section that talks about recruit leadership. I think that's, I know in depth we have recruiters. We have like a yeoman and master at arms and like a, we have an RPOC um, who's in charge of everything. And this is, I think, for boot camp. You can, um, I don't know if they pick you or volunteer. I think it depends on who's in charge when you get there because everyone's different. Like I've heard, like my brother, when he went through boot camp, he just got picked to do something. And then, um, but my friend, and I have a friend um, who said that his um, drill instructors asked to um, people to volunteer. So, I really don't know. And then it uh, goes through military drill and etiquette. Mine are checked off because I know them all. And then it goes through like hand saluting, basic movements, all that shit. And it talks about when and when you should not salute. And then there's the proper way to cross a quarter deck. If you don't know what this is, then don't worry because you'll become very familiar with this process. Um, and then there's a whole page on military terms and um, 
Mine are all checked off, obviously, because I memorized them all. Go me, pat on the back. That's my shoulder. But anyways, and then military time, the alphabet, which are also checked off. And then you have to know all the ranks. You have to memorize um, by looking at you, you know, obviously, because I, um, they'll show you, like, a sleeve, and you'll have to say who it is. Or they'll show you a collar device, or, um, you know, something like that, and they'll, and they'll expect you to know. And also you have to know, you know, the names, the um, rank, which could be O1 um, O through 10, W2 through 5, or E1 through E9. And then for enlisted, you have to memorize um, how long it takes to advance. The, the minimum time it takes to advance, because if you're a dumbass, they're not going to advance you, hopefully. Um, and then you have to know all the different kinds of ships and um, aircraft. And um, I think you have to memorize these paragraphs. I think it's just you have to be able to look at it and be like, oh, you know, I know what that, what that ship is, you know. So, um, which is where I struggle with the most. Like, I'm a dumbass when it comes to cars, and they have the names on them. So ships and planes is just like a whole nother shit on top of that so and then um then there's a whole list of what to bring to rtc which um i use this as just a little reference but i'm not gonna look at this when i'm actually packing i'm gonna get a list from my recruiter because um so I, we found that some of the stuff in here is a little off and I think there's are, there's been like misspellings in here too, so I'm not gonna just look at this. And then there's a list of what not to bring, which is obvious. Don't bring your crack pipe, don't bring your pocket knife, don't bring your, um, your gambling paraphernalia. That actually says that. It does not say crack pipe. Well, it does, it says pipe. <laughs> It's funny. Um, yeah, so just leave that at home. You're not supposed to do drugs anyways. So. And then it just talks about, you know, your training, um, your battle stations, your swim qualifications, stuff like that. Um, and there's a whole thing talking about deploying and, um, you know, if you have children or you're married or how they move your household goods. It talks about government housing, uh, advancing for pay grade. Um, education information like tuition assistance or the post 9-11 GI Bill and it talks about you know managing your money making a budget stuff like that and then it shows you um, a picture of an LES which is a leaves and earnings statement and that just tells you um, I think you get it every paycheck I don't know it's, it's online though um, or you can get it printed out I think but we want to be green and eco-friendly so we want to look online you know anyways um, it just tells you about everything you're pay getting paid and um, taken out of your pay for whatever reason and uh, drug deposit form which you fill out when you get to boot camp and then, um, and then there's a whole list in the back of just uh, everything you have to memorize so mine say done when they are done um, anyways, so I've just been getting a lot, I've gotten a, not a lot, because I have like five subscribers, but um, I've been getting some personal emails about like, can you give us a little more information, and that's what I'm trying to do, that's why my videos are so long, this is like 8 minutes and 43 seconds now, um, wait, it's the time's down here, because it's YouTube, um, anyways, so I hope that I'm giving you as, like, I'm giving you as much information that I can think of, you can feel free to send me personal messages, or comments and I will answer them um, you can ask me like I said whatever you want in the entire world I don't care if it's Navy related if it's hi how are you like I really don't care um, subscribe like you know all that jazz and um, hopefully you found this helpful or entertaining or useful so if you have let me know um, because I hope I'm not wasting my time like I'd like to know that helping someone so um, Anyways, I hope you have a good day. I will see you soon. Bye.